What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Mega Boss Trucker. I'm out here in um, Lafayette, Indiana, and I promised to do a video, a short video on loadout trailers. I'm here at the Wabash plant, and as you can see, I don't know if I can switch my camera around. Guess not. Let me see. As you can see, I'm out here. And they got a ton of these trailers out here. I'm picking up this trailer and it's going to La, uh, San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas. So just a brief video on what I do when I do my inspections. So what I do is I generally get this grease right here from Walmart. Okay, the first thing I do is I, I dump my airbags and I get just about right there. And when I dump my airbags, I wanna make sure that when I slide underneath the trailer to connect, that that fifth wheel don't make contact with the trailer until I'm up against that kingpin right there. You see it? Let me see if I can. Yeah, that kingpin right there. Okay. So, I want my grease to be right around in that area so I won't have too much uh, friction against, you know, uh, the trailer. So I dab that grease on there dump my airbags and then when I get up there by the kingpin I'm gonna fill my airbags up with air fifth wheel is gonna make contact with the trailer slide on back so my fifth wheel my, my uh, kingpin can engage and the locking jaws around the fifth wheel locking jaws and lock around the kingpin and then I start to hook up my airlines and my uh, electrical cord and then I do my light test and I already done went in the back. Let me get my gloves. It's cold out here, y'all. But small thing to a giant. Also, I'm gonna thump these tires. Trust the mallet, hammer, not that plastic shit. Get you a good hammer because you never know when you might need it, and it's good for thumping tires as well. I was doing in a modal, and I needed these all the time to uh, bang on the uh, bang on the um, what you call it. The levers who uh, slide the tandems. A lot of times they was locked or stuck or or something. So we're gonna do a brief brief, brief inspection. And open the trailer door up. Check it out. Make sure it's all good. Nothing missing or out of place. Looks good in there, walls look good. Doors look good. And the brackets look good. All the way up the top, down to the bottom. Same thing on that side. All the way up the top to the bottom. Did I get it right? Yeah. We got the temp put tags on there. We got all the reflective stickers on there per DOT. I didn't already did this inspection, but for the video purposes, I'm doing I'm doing it again. You never know, I might catch something, right? So I want to look at the braking system, the uh, all the airlines and hoses, the, like where they need to be at, and uh brake chambers, slack adjusters, airbags, 
All of that stuff look good. The airline's not dragging on the ground or air hoses. Skirts is in place. And they, they ain't loose. There's no rivets missing on the side of the trailer. So we good to go. Go around on the other side from here. Dump these tires with my hammer out here. Use my foot last time. That thing appears to be fine. Got this bad boy for 10 days. Brand new, don't have to worry about no brakes, don't have to worry about no tires, none of that. So, once I connect, Over child on the phone. Oh, sorry, not the phone. On the video. Make a transport, baby. We making moves, okay? This is what I do. Yeah. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide back. You can see that. I go back outside and, and show y'all what it looks like. Right about there. It's good. Let me make sure before I fill up my airbags. And I want y'all to see the gap that I'm talking about. I might be real close to it. I don't know. Oh, I'm close. But at least the, the grease isn't... Uh, Touching the, uh, the trailer. Well, it is a little bit, but that's okay. The majority of the part, it's not right up in there. You see that gap? Uh huh. Let's see what my fifth wheel and the locking and the uh, kingpin is. I'm right there. So, right about now. Right about now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lift my airbags up, okay? I'm gonna slide back just the taste. Just the taste. Just the taste, I'm gonna slide back. Airbags up. Now we made contact. So, you always want to, whenever you drop a trailer, you want to leave about this much room between the ground and the landing gear. Maybe about a couple inches, two or three inches between the ground and the landing gear. That way, when you go to uh, pick it up or somebody else goes to pick it up, it won't have a hard time cranking it because all that heavy weight is weighing it down and it makes it hard, especially on, on anybody. But uh, especially for a lot of our women that's out there uh, that's getting into the trucking game. <coughs> You know, it makes it easy for everybody. So let's think about our ladies, okay? Because, believe me, it definitely is hard to, to uh, crank that, uh, that trailer down when it's underweight, when it got weight in that trailer. I don't care how light or heavy it is. There we go. I want to do a tug test. Make sure my locking jaws is securely locked around the kingpin. I like to be sure. 
So I, I do it like three or four times just to be sure. And that's all to it. You do your little inspection and uh, make sure all the lights is working. I haven't done that yet, but you know the idea. If you doing your pre-trip on any trailer that you dropping and hooking with, you know, whenever you connect to a trailer, you plug in the electrical plug and the airlines and everything, and then you make then you hit your hazards and turn all your lights on, park lights and all that, and make sure all your marker lights and your brake lights and everything is in working condition. And uh, that's it. You're good to go. Thanks for watching. If you like this video. Hit subscribe and uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. Be safe out there.